Dean Cadell owns two of Bali's most popular restaurants. This story shines a light on the devastating effect the global pandemic is having on Bali's tourist industry. Think of Bali and one image that comes to mind is the scary wooden masks depicting characters from Balinese folklore. Now, people in Bali wear a mask for far more scarier and sinister reasons. Despite Bali being an island which provides natural border defences, during 2020, almost 150,000 Balinese lost their jobs when Bali became a ghost island almost overnight. The airport, hotels, restaurants, bars, shops and markets all put up close signs. Dean did everything he could do to avoid laying off staff, but by early 2021, he faced the harsh reality that he simply couldn't support his staff financially any longer. Almost every business owner in Bali was faced with the same heart-wrenching decision. No customers, meant no revenue, meant no jobs. This is the story of how one man's determination and caring provided hope and support when paradise was paralysed by pandemic poverty. Hello, I'm Dean Cadell. If you're one of the millions of people who love Bali, you'll know the warmth and sincerity behind those gorgeous Balinese smiles. Seeing those lovely warm smiles turned into expressions of desperation, I knew that I couldn't just sit by and see their lives and their world just collapse. We had to do something so that parents could feed their families and people could meet their basic living expenses. Without tourists, how are families going to survive? How could all of us that love Bali help to relieve the suffering that's on every face that I see? And that's when I got the idea, a way that I could make a real difference. The thing I really know about, the thing I'm passionate about, is cooking. I've spent my lifetime cooking food around the world. But cooking isn't just about food or eating. It's about family, heritage, friendship, passion, memories, security, sharing, love. And so was my idea. The idea was simple. If you can't come to Bali, then I'll bring Bali to you. Working with a small but very committed team, I started to collect previously unseen recipes and listen to untold stories. I heard of new, creative, authentic Balinese food ideas and gathered many happy memories of family cooking and socialising from my staff, neighbours, friends and extended Balinese family. Then I brought them all together in a unique book that records an especially trying time in the lives of the people of Bali. A book that is unparalleled in the way that it captures Bali's culinary richness and diversity set against such a desperate and needy backdrop. Our Bali, your Bali. Bali Kita, Bali Kamu. Food, recipes, meals and family memories of Bali. Beautifully photographed and written in a way that captures the absolute essence of Bali at a time of unimaginable distress. Our Bali, your Bali. Bali Kita, Bali Kamu. One book, one moment in time, one incredible way to show you care. To order your copy, just Google Our Bali, your Bali. And thank you.